need to work some of those points and back in their favour this weekend yeah. and down in Twickenham next Cut. weekend. It's going to be Cut. yet another fascinating finale Goals. to the series. Stay. Fiji did have the previous highest score of the day with their 40 points to nil win over Zimbabwe. That was blown out of the water by New Zealand. Talabula, the danger man, just couldn't quite find the pass. Naikadawa now. Wonderful line though by Talabula, just came on the yeah. angle there, just hit the short ball through the gap. Again, looking for the offload and support, but uh, well, oh, yeah. Portugal got in the, uh, in the passing lanes. They'll have a penalty. And they'll just get back into their rhythm that's so important to their play. Wait for the score. Which is converted by Talabula. So Thakao gets his... Shows the kind of the magic trick where you're going to go and uses his feet and he's in and away. 4-0 and a bit of bother. Fiji have held this ball up. They could well Use steal it. a turnover from this. Turnover. Ball held up. Good ball. recognition there by Talambula again. Carl Murray came down this, this short tunnel, looked to pull out. The Fijian press defensive push round. Loose pass. Talambula's up. All of a sudden, you've got four Portuguese players in front of the ball. The Fijian defense pressing on, able to put pressure, holding up, and now getting possession again. Good disciplined defensive shape, pressing hard when the opportunity arises. But it was a uh, Rakamata with the, the initial break of the tap penalty again. A little bit suspect on the tackling by the Portuguese. But Talabuli commits to his line. He commits with pace and power. He finds his hole. He goes for his hole. And he gets in Glasgow. Fiji back on the on the on the kick receipt team. Exactly what uh, Fiji did there. Unfortunately, little knock on. But again. You've got territory, you can now put pressure on uh, in, the, in the opposition's half. Protect themselves, not concede any more right now. So Almeida gets the ball out to Betancourt. It's very slow possession this for the Portuguese, allows Fiji to line up the tackles, but breaking through Carl Murray. Almeida tackled, but offside. Portugal just struggling, aren't they, to get any sort of momentum and quick ball. Carl Murray got and go forward there, but they didn't clear it quickly enough to move it away to a different area of the pitch. Little mistakes there, gifting the ball back to, to Fiji, probably something you don't want to be doing when they're able to counter attack. Oh, and gliding through, it's too easy for Rakamate. Absolutely brilliant, that. Effortless. Well, if you're going to kick the touch, make sure you find it, especially against the Virginians. That's wonderful individual running there by Rakamate. We've seen a couple of examples already of his balance and the way that he uses the ball, disguises whether he's going to pass or dummy, always carrying it in two hands, keeping the defence always guessing, but then just great work, great work on the ball. Again, showing support runners there from him. Gap opens up. Defender defends what he thinks is going to happen, not what does happen. Gives him the opportunity. Great individual score. Fiji are on their way to a repeat of their first round game against Zimbabwe. 21-0 at half time. Success in business and in rugby. It's all about the right support. are on their way to a repeat of their first round game against Zimbabwe 21-0 at half time Two of them from really slack tackling the third one coming from their own mistake and that was a huge hit by Katoni Bao well that pass had a blue light on it there, but it's a very very definitive theme to their attacking game and a short pass like that, if you are right on the shoulder, then it's so difficult to actually judge whether it went forward or not. Here come the Portuguese, though. Miranda. And Betancourt. Pedro Leal. 
seen precious little of Pedro Leal in this game, but now breaking through his 4 0. More possession here for the Portuguese. See how Fiji's defense is at the breakdown. Oh, there was a sore one there for Duarte Moreira. And he's staying down on the turf. A clash of heads here. Yeah, it looked like a, a, you know, an innocent, but you know, a, a fierce clash of heads. Uh, and that was a chance there for Portugal. As they, look they seem to have grown as, a, as, a, as an inexperienced squad. Portuguese, there was a man out wide there as well. They could have worked that, they had the overlap. Wait, 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 wait. Well, there's going to be a yellow card here for... Good job, but just too many offences there by Fiji. Maikadawa is the man who goes off. Portugal here. Just within a couple of metres of the line, looking for a pushover score. Not something you see too much in sevens. Difficult for the referee to spot anything there. So we'll come back, it'll be a scrum, and let's see if they've got the cool heads to execute the move. Oh, they've got a penalty, and immediately they want to shift it. And it comes to Leal, he's got a man, and they get it through the hands. Gonzalo Foro uh, again just making their uh, their extra man count there. Pedri Leal just takes it to the line, just draws half checks that last defender so close to the line, can't get across for the cover tackle. So, uh, first try up for Foro, Portugal on the score sheet. Sevens is tiring enough with a full complement and six men, it's energy sapping, but Fiji masters of holding on to possession and making it look so easy, although that was scrappy. And just a shame, though, that Magalhaes didn't back his pace there. Yeah, that was a real opportunity there, didn't they? They managed again to push Keat, uh, push the Fijians down the dead man's alley, and he threw the blind pass, and the pressure was up in their face. Really opportunity there. If they'd have scored that, they were back in the game. Somebody needs a new shirt. Yeah, it was just caught. Francisco Magalhaes. We just see here, he's playing the blind pass, the press is on. Great work by the Portuguese defence at three and four. He's got to back himself there, isn't he? He's got to go for the corner. Worst case scenario is you've got a positive breakdown, you can then play away with flat pass ball. Vani Botia would have had a big task to catch him there. He was caught on his heels after the pass never found him. Fiji are up to seven again and breaking through the middle this could be another score for the Fijians it's an individual effort by Isikele Varuna he was a last minute call up into the squad and he's got himself a try great great wheels there by Varuna wasn't it just off the line that little run around Portuguese defense just pressed up a little bit hard left the gap on the inside with the back lift still uh, Still bringing his lift down, and he was away, Varuna. Good, good gas there to outsprint the uh, sweeper as well. well. It's maybe not quite been the second half onslaught that some may have thought from Fiji. Portugal have held themselves well in this second half. 4 0 now, their try scorer. In 16 hours. Put some action on the ball, back it comes. Good stuff this from the Portuguese. Just maybe couldn't quite get that final ball to Miranda. Mendes. Now it comes to Oliveira. Space here, although just took his eye off it. Just a little interesting thing here now in their defensive game. Oh, another impressive effort from 